afternoon everyone hope everybody's okay um, I'm just coming on very quickly to share this quick project with you and it is very quick and it's very simple to make and um, believe me <laughs> firstly you're going to need three sheets of A4 cardstock okay and you're going to cut one A4 piece of cardstock in half let me just show you what I mean by half uh, what have I got to hand um, let me see <laughs> I'll use this <laughs> what I mean by half I don't mean that way I mean that way okay so you're going across the way and you're going to cut it in half okay then you're going to take your two pieces that you've cut in half let me just get all my bits and bobs out the road okay and you're going to score it a quarter of an inch on either side okay so you're going to score a quarter of an inch on this piece and a quarter of an inch on this piece and then you're going to join that quarter of an inch together with some turn tape <laughs> so you'd end up with something like that you're going to fold on them score lines so it gives you a little gusset okay so that's how much of a gusset you need. Then you're going to take your DSP and you're going to cut four pieces and they measure, hang on, oh yeah, you want this to measure seven and seven and a half inches. Okay, each side after you've put your quarter of an inch gusset in so that measures seven and a half inches okay now your layers you want to measure seven and a quarter inches and you need four of them to go on the outside and to go on the inside okay so I'm just going to glue these on and all I've done is rounded the corners on them that's all I've done and this is using the spooky cat DSP and the basic black. Now today I'm just going to show you how to construct it. I'm not actually going to show you how to decorate it because that's entirely up to you. Um, I make one of these every year because, come on glue, um, every year since I've, the grandbabies have been here um, we do a little tea party and we all get dressed up and we all act the idiot um, and we get our sugar fix <laughs> and believe me because come the night time it's the parents that are bouncing off the ceiling not the kids <laughs> but anyway bit of fun and it keeps the grandchildren happy and it keeps them safe. So, as you can see, I've just cut these down by two eighths of an inch to leave a nice little border round. Don't know whether that, see the little border I've left? So I've just cut it two eighths of an inch shorter. So this is gonna measure seven and a quarter by five okay so then I'll put my inside piece on and there's going to be stacks of room in this it may not look like, but I'm telling you, there's going to be stacks. And 
Okay, so again, just that quarter of an inch border. And then again on this side, I'll do the black spotty, or shall I do the... I've got it. No, I'm going to do the black spotty because I'm using a coloured a DSP on me other thing. <laughs> so I'll use the black and white spotty one. Okay, and I'm not going over them score lines, I'm just meeting up to them basically. So, as I say, they're five inches by seven and a quarter, and I've just took them down two eighths of an inch all the way around. And our back piece. Just been out to Newton Arts. Most of you probably don't even know where that is, um, and it was absolutely gorgeous weather-wise. Come home, and we had hailstorm. <laughs> so yeah, go figure that one. Okay, so this is the back of our little brag book, if you like. Okay, now we're going to concentrate on this left-hand side. Let me just pull my sleeves up out the road. Don't don't normally wear sleeves, um, but it's absolutely freezing. Okay, so now you're going to need <laughs> six panels that measure four and a quarter by four. Okay, so you want six of them. I've cut all mine down already. You're going to score them at a quarter of an inch so in effect you're left with four by four just get rid of all my DSP <laughs> okay and what we're going to do is on this side just so you can see properly we're going to take our first one and we're going to more or less just give it a quarter of an inch, not even a quarter, about two eighths of an inch from the edge of the front panel. And we're going to use our turning tape because I don't know where my red line tape is and I'm not using glue because we'll be here all day. <laughs> and I don't know about you but I don't want to be sat here all day. <laughs> because I'd run out of things to say. So there you go. <laughs> Hobby on the phone to his mother. And um, Pokey too. And again, I've rounded the corners on this as you can tell. So we're going to take this about two eighths of an inch away from the edge. Okay. And burnish that down really well and burnish it down really well on the inside. 
okay so then you're going to take your second piece and you're going to do exactly the same the only difference you're going to do is instead of having it at the end like that you're going to meet it you're going to join it up to the first one and make sure it's straight hence the lined paper it helps <laughs> So as you can see, yeah, mine's a Halloween themed one for my grandbabies. They're not babies anymore, they're getting too bloody big, too quick. So you're going to leave that bit folded underneath where we put our tape, where you scored. And you're just going to line it up exactly with the one in front of it. Okay, are you getting the idea now? And we'll just carry on and do that until we've got all our six on. And then we're going to work on the other side. He's going to walk the boys, my fair babies. Okay, so we'll just carry on going and we're going to put this one now up to this one. And what you're creating is a waterfall effect. Should have brought the other ones out to show you, shouldn't I? From last year and the year before. Never mind. I wasn't with stamping up then, so they weren't stamping up products. <laughs> Whereas these are. Ah, don't stick on me. Let me get you lined off first. So make sure you give it a good burnish. Okay. Two more ladies. And I won't make you suffer me um, decorating them. <laughs> and I'm happy, happy, happy because my new silhouette has just been delivered. So... I've got that to do this afternoon, install all that. So happy, happy bunny. If anyone is after a scan and cut, make me a decent offer, let me know down below. Because I prefer the cameo over the scan and cut, to be honest with you. So I ordered myself one. Okay, so you just keep going. Last one of our waterfall. And as I say, I've just rounded all the corners on these um, pieces. And I've also rounded all the corners on my DSP as well. That I'm, I'm going to be using to them all with and the last one again you butter up against the one before making sure you get it exactly straight 
because it will show if you go wonk on the wonk. And this is just a lovely little way to capture their memories and keep them close and they're not it's not a great big bulk okay so there's all my DSP pieces all cut now you know these are four by four square now so I've just cut see when they're all decorated they look lovely I've just cut mine again two eighths of an inch shorter so I've got mine there how long's this video at the minute 15 minutes we might get a chance to stick some of these on anyway the next thing you want to do is put on another piece of your cardstock you're going to need a piece that measures eight inches by three inches okay and then what you're going to do is score it at a quarter of an inch and then half an inch a quarter of an inch and half an inch turn it this way a quarter of an inch and half an inch and this is going to become a pocket from there okay and I've got all my tags all made up ready I've even put the DSP on <laughs> so what you're going to do now is on the outer quarter of an inch mark you're going to take your turn tape or your glue or whatever you prefer and um, let me see I've got some little tiny red line tape here so I'll use this and you're just going to put it on that outer quarter of an inch the bottom so you're going to burnish them score lines really well I'll tell you the bits to cut off in a minute because <laughs> I'm rushing because I know I've got my cameo sat there Okay, so on these corners, on the corner of these, can you see what I've done? On the first quarter of an inch score line, I've notched it out, but left this bit in. Can you see? And that's what you're going to do on both ends. And you're going to cut up that piece. So you've got like a little tab okay and that piece is actually going to tuck in around there so that nothing falls out so I'll just burnish that red line tape down because we all know how finicky it can be and then I'm probably covered in static so it probably won't so we're going to fold that one in okay tuck our tab in and fold that one up and it should stick onto the corner there it will do when I burnish it down anyway that noise oh it sounded like polystyrene oh <laughs> okay so we're gonna now get this 
stop it from sticking on us and we're going to stick it down just above make sure you tuck the ends in now you can go in with your bone folder and just burnish them score lines down so that we've got our pocket and we know it's stuck down and you can always put a hole punch in there to make it easier for you now the piece of DSP you're going to want is going to be seven and is it six eighths by two and six eighths <laughs> and I might as well go ahead and stick that on And I tend not to cover the, um, see the back of the spine, I don't cover that because I write the year and the date and on that. Okay, so there's that. And we'll go ahead and we'll put a couple of these on. Just so you can see how it looks. And then I want to put some of that lovely, um copper bronze ribbon we have on the outside and I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to cover it up with a witch's hat or something I just want something there so I can close it Okay, and I'll use my spotty. So, as I say, you need three sheets of A4 cardstock simply because you need almost a sheet to do your six um, waterfall photo spots okay then you need some of it to do your pocket and I've already gone ahead and cut tags out different shapes and just covered them um, and they're all different sizes and I don't mind because I can print off at any size, it doesn't matter. So that closes up like that and that's why we needed that quarter of an inch gusset. And what I'm going to do on the outside of mine is I'm going to try and get them fairly equal and this is our lovely, what is it called? copper trim okay and it's it looks like a ribbon but you can in actual fact and I've shown it before I made spiders webs because you can pull it apart and I did do a Halloween card and I used that for my spiders web okay but then you can also just straighten it off again okay so I'm just gonna try and get this lined up as straight as I can <laughs> she says so I'm going to cut it in the middle there 
And don't move, don't move. And it's moved. <laughs> and I'm just going to take it glued off for now because as I say, I've got some um, witches hats and cats and whatnot already cut out of the DSP. I just used, you know, the ones and just fussy cutted them out. Um, so just let me stick this ribbon on now with a glue dot. Because as I say, we are going to go over it with some decoration. So if I stick that there. Let me try and keep that straight. Right. <laughs> I know I'm talking to myself. Sometimes it's the best way to get the most sense. Just don't tell the hubby I said that. Right, so I want that to go now on just over my third line. No, I don't. Just over my second line. So about there. Okay, so that's what I'm doing to the outside. Um, and that just gives us I've gone and made mine I've gone over my score line that's what I've done never mind you, you've got enough time to get yours sorted so that's your outside and as I say you can decorate that all up I'm going to be putting witches hat and witches brooms and what not on there then on the inside, you've got, in effect, there's enough room there to put 12 4x4 four four photographs. So you've got 12 to go in there. And then you've got your pocket here, and you can put all your tags in, photo mats, put more photos in. You would get at least another 12 just in that pocket alone. 24 if you do front and back so that gives you plenty of room plenty so again you need one sheet of A4 cardstock and you're going to cut it in the middle on the long side in the middle and then you're going to cut it again so it's five and seven and a quarter inches and you're going to make a score mark at the quarter inch on both pieces, okay? So you end up with this quarter of an inch gusset. Now where you've put them score lines, you're going to overlap it and stick them together so that you get the full length, which is going to work out at like 14, 14 inches, yeah. So... You know, it's a pretty decent size. These photo mats, they're going to be four by four and a quarter. And again, you're going to score it at the quarter of an inch and burnish it. And you're going to do that to six. Okay, and I've just showed you how to get them in together. You put your first one in a couple of inches away from um, the end of your card. Just about two eighths in okay you're going to stick that one down and burnish it the next one you're going to bring in directly up to the first one stick it down and you're going to do that with all six pieces okay and you're going to have this one here but you can always I don't know put a mat or something you know put another piece of DSP on there and decorate it up or something you know, just to hide that line. But they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And as I say, I have them in... Do you remember the old video cases you used to get? It used to look like a book. I have them all in there, dated, on the spine. That's why I don't cover this spine up. I leave it blank so that I can write the year and the date on the side of the spine. So if I'm showing anyone, I know exactly which one I need to pull out. 
but honestly give it a go it's super quick super easy and you won't be disappointed honestly and if you follow me on twitter on instagram on tumblr <laughs> i will put pictures up of the finished product if you've got any questions i've not made anything clear for you and um, please leave a comment below and I promise I will get back to you. And thank you to all the girls, the lovely ladies that have been leaving me lovely comments about my cards and getting in touch with me and, you know, private messaging me and emailing me and whatever. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. And my subbies are going up and up. So, yeah. So, I urge you, give that a go. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Okay, ladies and gents, take care for now. Stay safe and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.